What's up everyone, it's Adam from Life of Adam, team back with a brand new life grinding tip video. In today's upload, I'm gonna be talking about the main reasons why people fail the treading water pretest to become a lifeguard. So this is very informative, it'll help you guys out, and I'll alert you about things that you should avoid doing so that you pass guaranteed on your first try. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, I make a bunch of content about how to pass the course, how to pass the pretest, basically everything you need to know about becoming a lifeguard. So definitely consider subscribing and liking the video if you're new to the channel. But now let's just hop right into it. So now the main reason why people fail the treading water exam is that they're not comfortable like leaving their arms above water or in their armpits. It could be a problem with like your endurance, like your legs aren't able to support you and keep you upright for that amount of time. Or it could just be because like you're balancing and like your swimming technique is off. So like you like lean back or to the right and the left or forward so that you lose your balance and you have to use your arms to push the water to like rebalance yourself and recenter yourself. So most of the time it's because of endurance and I highly recommend that before you even take the water pretest for the treading water exam that you practice at a pool and you like kind of hang out near a wall and do it for as long as you can and as soon as you get tired like you can implement your arms or you can grab the wall and to keep doing that until you can do it for two minutes. But it's one of those things where it's like, yes, it has to do with your endurance, but it has a lot to do with your technique as well. So if you're feeling off balance, definitely try to do a different type of kick, like an egg beater kick. Maybe it'll help you if you do flutter kicks, even though I don't like them because of foot cramps. Or maybe you can do like a hybrid. You can do one and then switch to the other one when you get tired. Now, another main reason why people fail the treading water exam is that they're doing it too close to another person. Now, I know a lot of lifeguard classes are like a very wide range of different sizes. So for me, like it was like me and like seven, eight other people. But for some, it could be like one in like 30, like you're like in a huge group. So make sure that when you're all doing the treading water exam, that you spread out and you're not close to someone because if you're close to someone and you get kicked or you kick someone else or you get tangled and you go below the surface or if you're in pain and so you stop for a second to like wait till the pain's over, that amount of time could jeopardize you passing or not. So just avoid even being close to anyone so that there's no one in your way, there's no one there to mess you up. So you can just focus on your technique and focus on what you prepared for. Now another main reason, which is kind of similar to that, is that you're too close to the wall and you accidentally touch it or like you're pushing off of it. So this might happen if you're doing the egg beater kick, which is like the bicycle kick. You're close to a wall, let's say you're in a corner and the instructor thinks that like you like use the wall, you like kick the wall or maybe you like you put your hand there by accident because you like lose train of thought and you lose a sense of where you are so you accidentally do it because you feel tired. Like just avoid being close to a wall because you don't want any temptation. You don't want to be even close to being like accidentally touching it. So similar with other people, just make sure you're away from everyone and you're kind of like far away in the center of the pool so that there's no issues. Same thing with the bottom of the pool. You don't want to be too shallow where you can like skim the bottom and touch the bottom. So you want to be in the deep end and you want to be spread out in the center. Now another reason why people fail the treading water exam is that they let the water level go above their chin for a majority of the time, for a good amount of time. So occasionally maybe some water will splash in your face and like it'll go up to here, the water line. But to avoid any questioning, you want to make sure that your head is fully out of the water and that the water is like well below your chin I, although this might be hard for some because like really keeping yourself up with just your legs may be tough but you don't want the instructor to see you leaning too far back or like occasionally putting your face in the water, putting your head in the water and having to pick it out again. That's not a good look. Now it's very important to display to the instructor that you're very capable of treading in place, you have it under control and that you don't need to be in the water and like floating on your back in order to stay upright in the deep end for a long period of time. It's because and the main reason for this test is because like you don't use your arms because you're holding a victim, you're holding a backboard. You're not gonna be able to use your arms to push the water to keep you upright and keep you above the level. So it's really important that you get this test down and you show that your head's way above the waterline. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found these tips helpful. Definitely like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll make a lot more of these lifeguard videos for this upcoming summer to help you guys at your summer jobs or maybe to help you guys become a lifeguard before then. So I'll see you all in the next upload. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.